and today we're going to be drawing the Eagle Ray. Drawing the Eagle Ray. I'm going to start off with a sort of a long skinny oval. Put this in here, we're going to sort of flatten it out a little bit. So this is just really rough. You draw this very, very lightly. This end here, going to make it a bit bigger. So I've got this funny oval. You can sort of see what I've done. I've made that end pointy. I've made the top bit there bulge a bit. And here I'm going to put like a letter U on its side. And we're getting the funny shape of this animal. Okay, now I'm going to do almost like a shark fin, letter V upside down like this. So curve like this, round a bit, a curve like that. About here I'm going to pop that in half there, do a bit of a bracket there, do a long bracket coming up here. Another bracket there. there and round off that end. Up here I'm going to do another one in there like that. So getting the basic shape in. Have a bracket there. Going to go our angle here, line here like this. Okay, straight there and here. A bit of a bracket here. Now they've got the almost frog like eyes. So a bit of a bump there, a bit of a bump there, a little oval, and it comes down a bit like that. So it's almost like got a bracket going that way. So here comes another bracket here, another one there, bit of a line here, and I'm going to shade this bit here in. Now at the back here, tile. See how I just do that really quickly with a pencil? I'm going to have like a letter U almost upside down on its side a bit like that, fin there. Straight bit coming out here, and a bit of a fin there, a little mouth there. Now with the eye, I'm going to do a tiny little circle there, if you can see that. And do another circle around that, colour it in and leave the first one white. There we go, isn't that cute? Now I'm using pencil a bit heavier. Now the light's coming from down here, so under here is going to be shadow. So I'm going to colour like this tip in almost black. Well, black as a grey lead can do. And this is a good practice for your shading. I'm going to get about here, it's going to be light, because what happens is the light comes down hits the sand, bounces back, and makes the underneath a bit lighter, even though it's light anyway. So that's dark. Here's not quite as dark. Here's lighter still. So it's a real practice of, you know, shading, and here, the pencil's hardly even touching the paper. Now let's see if I can do all the in-betweens. Now if I had another pencil, I could sort of hold it like that and get a flatter area. But I only got this little mechanical pencil today. Which I picked up cheap from one of those really cheap $2 shops. So now I do some blotches here. And on that flapper there. Maybe a bit on the face there. 
I'm going to very, very gently just colour in around those. Well, the other way of doing it is just imagine there's one there and just leave a white patch. Now, little wrinkles. Wrinkles there, maybe a dark patch there. Often with shading what I do is I start off light, I just go a little bit heavier and a little bit heavier. So if you start off lightly it means that, you know, oh, you can add a little bit more, but if you put too much shading on to start with then it sort of gets tricky because you have to try and erase them and it gets messy. If I do ever use the eraser it's usually just to rub out lines that are more outside the body, not actually in the body itself. And I'm going to heavy up this line here because when I draw an object with lines, I like to make the lines underneath just heavy. Gives it a bit of weight. With this line here is very, very light. Another heavy line there. And there's our eagle ray. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's maybe picked up some tips to improve your artwork. I'll see you next time.